More Christmas cards for you, Harry. Thanks, Pete. Only one more week till the big day, huh? One short week, 1,000 packages to deliver for Santa. Check it out, Jason. Your favorite cookie cutter. Uh, last time I checked, I didn't have a favorite cookie cutter. Remember? I bought this little brontosaurus for you last year. Mom, that's a platyosaurus. Even Tommy knows that. <coughs> knows what? You eat any more raw cookie dough, Tommy, and you're gonna get worms. How'd you like that for Christmas? Isn't that what the little spaz got last year? Jason, your brother's not a little spaz. You're right, Dad. He's a big spaz! Well, everyone, looks like we're creating another perfect Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it! Coming! Ah, special delivery here for a Mr. Uh, Jason Barnes. Oh, that's you! Awesome! I got a package! What do you get for me? Ah, sorry, Tommy, nothing today. But I bet the big guy has a few packages coming for you next week. Just sign here, Jason, and it's all yours. <laughs> Careful there, pretty heavy box. Thanks, Pete. Wow, look how big it is, Jason. I wonder who it's from. Good question, Jason. No return address. Aunt Tess said her gift to Jason was coming in the mail. I bet it's a Robosaurus. That's what I told Aunt Tess I wanted. That's what you told everyone you wanted. Can I open it now, please? If Jason gets to open a present, I get to open one too. Nobody is opening anything until Christmas. Dad. Come on, Dad. Now, let's go finish those cookies. We got a Robosaurus for Christmas! I got a Robosaurus for Christmas, and if you hadn't opened your big mouth, I'd be playing with it right now! Well, we can play with it on Christmas. It's only a week away. You can't ever play with it, Tommy. It's mine! And you'll just break it, like you break everything else. Jason doesn't have a Robosaurus. And if you guys don't knock it off, I'm gonna make you eat every one of these Christmas cookies. Yeah. If Aunt Tess got me the Robosaurus, and Grandma gets me the T-Rex Annihilator game, then Mom and Dad must have gotten me the Build Your Own Brachiosaurus kit. That's if Aunt Tess really did get me the Robosaurus. Just what do you think you're doing? I was just, uh, looking at the tree. Well, why don't you just, uh, head back up to bed? And in the future, sport, watch out for the step by the landing. It's a creaker.
Your father's at the office, Jason. And I've got to run a few errands, so I want you to watch Tommy. Mom! I had to watch him last Saturday. It's not like I'm selling you into slavery, Jason. I'll only be an hour or so. And Mom says I can watch Adventures of Cozy Cup. Mom! It's on at the same time as Dino Wranglers. He got to watch his stupid show last week. Jason, he's only seven. Please don't give me a hard time about this. I'm only seven? Yeah, well, Cozy Cub is for three-year-olds. <gasps> I'll be back in a little while, guys. Mwah. Mwah. And no peeking under the tree. Go watch your show. I'll be in my room, and I don't want you bugging me. Got it? Got it! You're hopeless. Hey, kids. Miss Blue Jay just stopped by to say a big good morning to all of you. Can you say good morning to Miss Blue Jay? I know you can. She's going to bring us down to Rainbow Canyon so we can tell Fergie the Frog about yesterday's adventure. Come on, Robosaurus! Is it going to be thundering T-Rex and slamming Stegosaurus? What? That's not a Robosaurus. Egg? What kind of stupid Christmas present is that? Genuine Quetzal Coatless Egg, Order of Pterosaurs, taken from Dinosaur Glen deep in the Rocky Mountains. Oh, give me a break. Pterosaurs have been extinct for 145 million years. How stupid can you get? Jason, I spilled my juice on the... Wow, where'd you get that? Tommy, get out! I, I told you to leave me alone. That's a dinosaur egg? Yeah, Brainiac, it's a dinosaur egg. And any minute now, it's gonna hatch, and a real-life dinosaur's gonna eat you up. Get a clue, Tommy. It's a fake. Doesn't look fake to me. What kind of dinosaur is inside? Duh, the fake kind. But since you're so interested, I'll show you. Come on, show me what kind of dinosaur it is. I'm looking. I was just asking. <gasps> Jason? I said I'm looking, Tommy. Give me a sec. Oh, no! Jason! Come here! Tommy! Grab it! Don't let it... <gasps> Fall. You are so lucky it didn't break. Help me get this thing back in its box and under the tree before Mom gets home. Uh, I'm sorry, Jason. It started rolling. Oh! And... Uh. Jason! Uh. What's happening? Oh. This is impossible. It's hatching. What's in there? According to the card, this! Run! Uh, what are we gonna do, Jason? It's gonna eat us! Don't worry. They don't eat people, I, I think. Mm -hmm. oh. Can't believe this. It's a real pterosaur. <laughs> it's not gonna take me without a fight.
sense, doesn't it? No! Don't do that! No pecking! Not nice! I don't think he wants to hurt us. Oh. Okay, boy! Get down! Go on! Down! Good boy! If you are a boy... He looks like a boy to me! Maybe we should name him. Good idea! You want a name? I'm Tommy! Me, Tommy! Him, Jason! Jason, Tommy! And you're... <coughs> Spot! Spot! Sounds like a pretty good name. Awesome! We have a dinosaur named Spot! <laughs> Spot, no! It's okay! Is he alright? You okay, Spot? I'm sorry, Spot. I was just clapping, that's all. It's good! Why is he Spot, what is it? Jason, I think he's hungry. Is that it, Spot? You hungry? Let's go see what's in the fridge. <laughs> Spot, no! No eating the Christmas tree! No, Spot! That's bad! No! Help me turn this around, will you? Oh, no! Spot! Spot, no! Bad dinosaur! Those are Dad's fish! Don't eat Dad's fish! Good boy! Pterosaurs, of course! He's a fish eater! Dinner is served! He likes fish sticks. I guess we should nuke another box. Ah! Okay, okay, Spot. Give me a sec. Mom's home! We've got to hide him. Spot, get upstairs quick. Ah! 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 Spot, no! Upstairs! We've got to go upstairs, Spot. That way. Move! Here, Spot! In here! In the closet! Whoa! Under the bed! Oh, whoa! Just stay there, Spot. Until I say you can move, stay there! Keep an eye on him. at the tree again where's your brother uh, uh upstairs you haven't been watching him at all have you jason he could have climbed down the laundry chute again for all we know mom tommy is fine you don't need to check on him like a little kid have you lost your mind last time we left tommy alone he finger painted the piano tommy i'm home i'm in here What are you doing in your brother's room? Just playing. You haven't destroyed anything? You were actually letting your brother play in your room? Sure, why not? You must have a fever. You're acting very strange. I've got groceries to put away. That was close. Coast is clear, Spot! Oh. That was Mom. Every time you see Mom, you hide. Good Spot. Mom will never find out. Jason? Tommy? Get down here! Now! I suppose nobody knows anything about this. Uh, you see, 
Well, we were... We were wrestling. I started it. Well, you're gonna finish it. Clean this up. And no more knockdown in the house. After we clean this up, maybe we should spend the rest of the day upstairs. It's my job to say that. For the rest of the day, you'll play upstairs. And don't come crying to me when you run out of fun things to do. We won't! Promise! Mom and Dad are down their spot, so I couldn't nuke these. I hope you don't mind that they're not warm. Here's some salmon spot. Just give me a second to unwrap it. Oh, you're gonna like these. Frozen shrimp. Let's see what you've learned so far. Okay, Spot, sit. That's good! Now give me a wing! Roll over! Play dead! Now... Boys, it's just about bedtime. Hide! Spot, go on, hide! Why is this door locked? Uh, uh, hold on, Dad! Oh, here. Now hide, quick! Unlock this door now, Jason! Spot, remember, stay. Sorry, I must have locked it by accident when I closed it. You know I don't like it when you guys lock the door. Now bedtime. Can I sleep in here with Jason? I'm sure your brother doesn't want you sleeping in here. It's fine. No big deal. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. You don't mind your little brother sleeping in your room? Maybe there's something in the drinking water. Tell me about it. They've been acting weird all day. Let me get some extra sheets. That's okay. He can take my sleeping bag. I'll set it up. Is that a bag of shrimp in your hand? I, uh... Why can't you just eat junk food, like normal kids? Here, I saved one for you. That was a little too close. I guess we're having a sleepover. You guys get the floor. Night spot. Night spot. Mm. Night, Jason. Night, Tommy. Mm. Boys, get out of bed. You're gonna be late for school. Uh, uh. Huh? Tommy, look at this! What happened to Spot? He got big. 
I'm going to eat fish sticks every day. Spot, no! That's my favorite pillow. Tommy, what are we going to do with him? We can't just leave him here while we go to school. You're right. He'll trash the place. And Mom will find him up here. We've got to put him somewhere else. How about the treehouse? That's not a bad idea. He can't ruin it. He can make noise and Mom won't hear him. It's a little cold out there, but we can fix that. Spot, we're going to school and you're going on a little trip. You guys better hustle. The bus will be here any minute. Mom, can I have jelly on that? Tommy, it's baloney. I know. I, I like it with jelly. That's how Peter Welk eats it. Jelly on baloney? What next? Who wants strawberry jelly with bologna? <laughs> Silly me. Is there a draft in here? Uh, Mom, the fridge is open. Before Christmas. Come on, Spot! It's just snow. What's that kid up to now? Here in the treehouse. Hello? Mary, this is Henrietta Delancey next door. I just saw your boy Jason in your backyard. Henrietta, Jason is upstairs getting ready for school. I just saw him in your backyard with a dinosaur! Oh, really? Jason's in the backyard with a dinosaur? And Tommy's in the front yard playing hopscotch with a rhinoceros. What? I'm serious this time, Mary. You were serious when you saw Mr. Peterson sailing his yacht down the street, too. Oh! Why, I never! Everyone in this neighborhood has been against me from the start. First when the alien landed on my roof, nobody believed me, and now... I'm going to school, Spot, and you've got to stay here. Stay here. Yes? I'll be back at three. Be good. I'll check to make sure that Jason is upstairs, but I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. The front door. That woman drinks just a little too much coffee. What are you doing in here? Um, looking at the Christmas tree. You really like that tree, huh? Come on, the bus will be here in a second. Wow! There are 50 states in the United States of America. Each state has its own state capital, state bird, 
state motto, state flower, state flag, state nickname, state fish. There are nine known planets in the solar system. Each of these nine planets revolves around the sun. The last planet in our solar system, Pluto, is also the smallest of the planets. <laughs> This newborn pterosaur can fit in the palm of your hand. It will double in size in the first month of its life. <laughs> yeah, right. They're bigger than that. By the time it's full grown, the pterosaur will be the size of a private airplane. I've got a new friend, Pete. I could tell you who he is, but it's a secret. I won't tell. His name is Spot, and he's a flying dinosaur! Nah, there's no such thing as real dinosaurs, Tommy. Dinosaurs have been extinguished forever. Hey, Tommy, I heard you still sleep with the lights on. Leave me alone, Joey. <gasps> you scared of me? Like you scared of the dark? I'm not scared of the dark. Leave me alone, dog breath. Come on, Tommy, let's go. What'd you call me? Just leave me alone. Ah! Ooh, where are you going? <sighs> Leave me alone! Don't walk away from me! <laughs> Whoa! Jason, can you get the curtains? Need us round the back. Oh, wow, it's bright out there. Principal Waters, I, it's true, I saw a dinosaur. I'm sure your parents will be happy to hear what you've come up with this time. Principal Waters, it's true, I really saw a dinosaur. Mom's picking us up today, Bert! Mom would kill you if she saw you flying in the air like that. It wasn't my idea, it was Spots! <laughs> Let's have some fun! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Today we can play all day. We brought you breakfast. What's wrong with him, Jason? Beats me. But it's trout, your favorite. <sighs> Doing a little reading on your family history spot? <sighs> Maybe that's why he's so sad. He misses his family. But he's never even seen his family before. He's seen our family. You want to see your family, Spot? Mm -hmm. Well, it is Christmas Eve. And everyone wants to be with their family at Christmas. Even dinosaurs. <coughs> All we have to do is take him home! There's just one problem. Where's that? I'll be right back. This card came with the egg. Taken from Dinosaur Glen, deep in the Rocky Mountains. I've never heard of a place called Dinosaur Glen. Give me that card. Look at this. Of course! Deep in the Rocky Mountains, Dinosaur Glen! Why can't I go with you? Because I said so, Tommy. It's Christmas Eve. You've got to stay here to make sure Mom and Dad don't notice that I'm gone. What if you don't get back in time for Christmas? And miss Christmas with my dorky little brother? No way. You better come back. Mom and Dad are gonna freak if they find out you're gone. I'm counting on you to hold them off till I get back. Okay? Don't worry. I won't let you down. That's good, Tommy. Spot won't let me fall. You ready to find your family, Spot? Don't forget about us. Promise you'll come back and visit every Christmas? I'll never forget you. We've got to get going. Okay, the coast is clear. Here goes nothing. Let's go! Whoa! You are definitely the best Christmas gift I ever got! Whoa! What are you doing in there? Hey, Mom. We're working on a Christmas surprise for you and Dad. Well, how about some breakfast for my little Rembrandts? We're really kind of busy. Jason, you want breakfast? Okay, I'll bring it up to you. Jason wants a bowl of cereal. 
No peeking, Mom. It had ruined the surprise. A week ago, you guys wouldn't even talk to each other. <laughs> Where are the aliens? And what have they done with my boys? Hey, guys, what's up? Oh! Rocky Mountain's dead ahead! I don't know where we go from here, though. No signs of Dinosaur Glen. <laughs> Spot, where are you going? Spot, we're gonna hit the mountain! Spot! dinosaurs here. Maybe we can come back later, but it's getting late, and it's Christmas Eve. I've got to get home soon. You know, as far as Tommy and I are concerned, you are family. Maybe we can tell Mom and Dad about you, and you can come live with us forever. I guess it's not the same as being here with your own family. I promise, Spot, if there's a way for me to find your family, I'll do it. Cedar Peak is no place for a dinosaur to live. Merry Christmas, Spot. I'll see you in the morning. Ah, Picasso has arrived. We were wondering if we'd get to see you guys before Santa gets here. I have some bad news. What's wrong? You didn't get your Christmas project done? No, it's about Jason. Is everything okay? Everything's fine! Tommy's just being dramatic. My Christmas project didn't turn out too well, so we're just gonna have to give you his. Jason! You're here! Of course I'm here. Who wants to have Christmas Eve dinner upstairs? If you're still up when Santa gets here, he won't leave you any presents. Good night! Night, Mom! Night, Dad! Night, boys! See you in the morning. Oh, Jason! This one's from Santa! Oh, thanks! It's a Robosaurus, Jason! Isn't that what you told Santa you wanted? Mom and Dad, we have something for you. Oh, good! The big Christmas surprise! This is for you! This one's for you. I get one too? Oh, boys, it's a masterpiece. Wow, Tommy, this is great. I'm gonna hang it up in my room. Your turn, Tommy. Thanks, Jason. Mom, about Aunt Tessa's present? No, you can't open it yet, Jason. She's on her way now. There's nothing in that box but broken eggshells. They're gonna know I opened it early. Maybe they'll think it got broken in the mail. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to tell him about Spot. We can't hide him forever. I mean, eventually he's gonna get too big for that. Uh-oh. Tommy, I think we have a problem. 
guess it's time to tell everyone the truth. Aunt Tess is here! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Tess! Happy Holidays! Hi, Aunt Tess! Merry Christmas! Mom, Dad, Aunt Tess, there's something Tommy and I need to tell you. Well, can you tell us inside? It's a little chilly out here. Actually, out here is better, because I need to show you something. You see, last week, well, Tommy and I, we kind of have this secret, and it's not a bad secret, but... It's Christmas, guys, so I'm sure you'll get away with just about anything. So out with it, before we all get frostbite. We opened Aunt Tess's present early, and we think it's time you met him. Who? I knew it! I knew it! Oh, darn! I swear to you, I did not get him a puppy. I said no pets, Tess. If it's so much as a gerbil. Mom, Dad, and Tess, meet Spot. It's well, a. Well, it's, it's not a, a gerbil. It's a pterosaur. It's a dinosaur! Get in the house, now! He's coming after us! No, Mom, he's friendly! He won't hurt us! He's a dinosaur, Jason! What do you know about dinosaurs? Uh, everything? Is this your idea of a Christmas present? It was a petrified egg! I thought it would be cute! What's that? Who's there? It's footsteps! Something's coming! What could possibly have footsteps that heavy? It can't be! Whoa! Tommy, look! It's a brontosaurus! Awesome! <sighs> <sighs> Something. I don't want any trouble out of you. Christmas family. I want a brontosaurus.